She had to go for the butt. That's she? The yeah. She? The cat's mother. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good, bad or indifferent? It's really good news. So the British car making industry employs about 850,000 people, yeah. both directly and in supply chains. It's obviously hugely important in the Midlands, in the North East, in parts of Wales. Uh, we're still making lots and lots of cars. And what we're seeing now is the beginning of the kind of post-lockdown, post-COVID bounce back. Let's have a look at some of these numbers. These are from the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders. So the UK produced 88,230 cars in September. That is up 39.8% on September last year. So far this year, January to September, we've produced over 650,000 cars. That's up the best part of 15% on the same period, January to September 2022. Our exports of cars are up 32% and more than half of our cars that we make still go to the EU, just under six in 10, um, uh, actually. And those EVs, electric vehicles, hybrids and so on, the battery cars, output of those is up 41.5%. So look, there's a lot of gloom and doom around, but this is good news. Supply chains are rebooting. Shipping freight's finally really getting going again after uh, lockdown. It's taken a long time, but the British car making industry is back. We're not yet back up to a no, million no, no. units a year, yeah. which is where we were pre-pandemic, but we're getting there. But I am confused because I thought the story was no one was buying electric cars. They were sitting on their hands because they're a bit expensive and there's this uncertainty about where you could charge in the charging network. That's true, but they're still making a lot more of them than they were because the car makers are still betting on the fact yeah. that the range anxiety will fade and the charging network will be ultimately rolled out. Now, and this deadline, 2030, where in, are we on in, that? Indeed, so no, the, the 2030 thing's obviously gone to 2035. That's but the definite now, right? Well, it's, it's <laughs> definite as long as the Tories are in power, yeah, but we yeah. could have a general election. So, And I guess the car makers are thinking there could be a general election. They're listening more to what Keir Starmer's saying than they're listening mm. to the current prime minister. Pip, you mentioned this deadline in January. Mm. Now, this is so-called rules of origin. What this means is that a certain share of each car made in the UK has to be made in the UK in order for it to be tariff-free when it's exported to the rest of the world. And that applies to the, the EU as well, EU car makers who export here. Now, actually, I don't think these rules are going to come in. I think they're going to be delayed. I think the EU and the UK can do a deal on this. It's not just me saying that. It's also the Society of Motor, Ma Motor Manufacturers and Traders, and here they are. So we're, we're, we're optimistic. Um, the business secretary spoke recently at our event, and, and she said she was optimistic. Um, it's, it's sensible because if, if there isn't a solution found, you face a situation where potentially petrol and diesel cars are not subject to a 10% tariff, whereas electrified vehicles would be, which is exactly the situation we want to avoid. So... We're optimistic a deal will be found because it makes sense. The, the UK and European industries are heavily interlinked and, and both sides stand to lose out if the deal isn't found. So what a deal would do, it would prevent EU car makers paying a 10, having to charge a 10% tariff when they export cars here. And of course, they export loads of cars here. And UK car makers, uh, you know, some of whom are, are, are French, German and all the rest of it, they're heavily incentivized. They would, they, they would have to pay a 10% tariff when they export cars right. To the the EU, this is strictly on electric vehicles. It doesn't it doesn't apply to. And that to, could push the price up. And of that these would obviously put, by quite a lot. It, obviously, a lot of that would be passed on. Yeah. And, and that's why I mean, look, the SMMT, right? They are a very important lobby group. If they thought there wasn't going to be a deal, they would be giving me interviews saying there isn't going to be a deal. There isn't going to be a deal. We're really worried. The fact that they're saying we think there will be a deal between the UK and the EU to either delay these Brexit rules or smooth them over. They think they can do it within the existing trade agreement, comprehensive trade agreement between the UK and the EU. So yes, there's a deadline. Yes, it's January, but there's a sense in the car industry. And indeed, Kemi Badenoch as well, the, the business secretary who the SMMT just mentioned, that a deal will be done so we won't have tariffs on electric vehicles, whichever direction they're going across the channel. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Liam, for that.